Hello everybody, welcome to my channel DIYs and How To. My name is YMC and in this video I will show you how I made an adjustable wig cap using mosquito net and Swiss lace. So first off we start by making a rectangle of 7.5 inches by 4.5 inches. Then you fold it in half like you can see. Then you use a pencil to make a curve from one end to the other end so when you cut it out it will look like a semicircle. Yeah, so that will be one of the patterns we'll be using to make the wig cap. So next, we'll be making another rectangle, but this one will look like a parallelogram of three and a half inches by one inch. And half inches by one inch, and on one end, we'll be taking out um, a quarter of an inch from one end, then we we'll connect the line. We we'll connect the new line. So on this part we have three and a half inches, one inch and on the other half we have a three quarter of an inch. On the new line we just drew, we take out three inches and connect it downwards. Then just shape the ends to avoid sharp edges and hole. We'll also be cutting two of that. The time so I wrote on it indicates we'll be using two of that pattern. And on another piece of paper, here we have five and a half inches by one and a half inches. After cutting it out, Fold it in half. You fold it in half to shape the hand to also avoid a sharp edge. As you can see, you fold it in half, then with a the scissors you cut it out. You can just draw it out before cutting or you cut a straight. So you open it, open it to have that. We'll be needing just one of that. Then on another piece of paper, we'll be cutting out another rectangle. Basically, this pattern is just about making different rectangles. So the rectangle will be nine inch by five and a half inches. Nine inches by five and a half inches. Then you cut that out. I also need one of that. And another piece of paper. We'll be making another rectangle of six and half inches by six and one quarter inches for length. Then I wrote veil net on the shaded part. So it's just excesses. Because I'll be using this pattern to cut, I'll be using a 
sorry the bill network is useless to cut this pattern out so you know you have excesses in front of your of your wing which you later cut out on this i'll be using mosquito net this also mosquito net so this will be the main cap the other two I didn't write anything because I didn't know what I was going to use to cut it out. But later on, I cut it. I used um mosquito net in cutting it out. After cutting it out, it should look like this. Two of that, one of that, and one of the closure. Then this is how you sew it. You, pl you place the two semicircle by each side, then you sew it the same way I'm placing it. Know that you stretching the semicircle while you sew, so you can meet up. So on the two semicircle, the edges of the two semicircle, you'll be sewing that small shapes that look like parallelogram. Then after sewing it up, this is what it looks like after joining everything together. You can use like an old recap for reference if you don't understand. Then on the raw edge, I'll be sewing three and a half inches elastic band to the two sides. Three and a half inches each to the two sides. Then I used an old elastic strap that has a hook on it, like you can see. So that, that will be what you use in adjusting the wig cap to your head size. So that is what it looks like after I made the strap. And that's the end of the cap and this is what the cap looks like after, after placing it on my mannequin head. This is what the cap looks like. So please like, share, comment if you have any question, and also check the description box for other details. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Bye.